showcasing generative AI and how we can use that for brand assets. Today, we are going to be focusing on text to image. I want it to be a cosmetic skincare background with like pink petals. Oh, look at this. Like, I think that looks really cool. These are four different variations that it came up with according to our prompt. So visual intensity is basically like how intense your photo is going to be based on your text prompt. As we roll down here, we have where you can upload your own reference image. If you don't have an image, that's totally fine too. We got the gallery right here. Doesn't that look so good? Like it really took like the color palette, the reference, like the style and everything and like populated according to the text prompt that I wanted. Say I want more variations of it. All you have to do is go to edit right here and then you can use this as a style reference. Oh. See, you go pop it in there and then we can generate even more. So I want to do shot from above. So I want natural lighting and ooh, let's add some water splashes. Ooh. I think this one's pretty good, but yeah. I want to keep going. So show somewhere. Let's, let's keep see. going. Yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> one more thing is save to library. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love this one because as you hit continue, here's your, all your libraries. Nice. And then this is my brand, Avi Beauty. Save it in there. Now you go to your creative like apps, Photoshop, Illustrator, whatever it is. You go to the library, pull it up. Now you can start using it. Like, isn't that amazing? So I'm going to actually edit, go to generative fill because I don't need that flower. So let's actually highlight that and then let's hit generate. We're not going to put any prompt into it because honestly, you don't need to. See, look at that. Doesn't mm, that look so, so nice? Good? Let's do cosmetic skincare white jar with white cream inside. I hope that's specific enough. Generate. Ooh, oh, look at that. Look that's at that. Great. Doesn't that look good? Yeah, it does. And then I will download and I will open it with Photoshop. I have the design right here, mm -hmm. but how do I pop it over onto Photoshop? So I'm just going to quickly create this as Hey, Malco. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool. Let's hit done and yes. Okay, now we have that rectangle. We're going to right click it and let's convert it to a smart object. Let's go inside. Let's go into our libraries and then let's add firm and tone. Yeah. Let's add the logo on there. Okay, and then little flower elements. I think that looks pretty good now. Mm -hmm. So let's exit, save. And ta-da! This is where I actually go under here and multiply it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So now, doesn't that look so much better? Instead of this square, let's actually expand it. So I'm going to go oh. to the crop tool. Generative expand. My favorite. So I'm going to hit the option key and then let's do that. Okay. And then generate. Look at that. that the water so ripples and everything. I thought it would be really nice if we could add a Petri dish right here. Mm -hmm. Petri dish with tiny flowers. I love this one. So we have our first like mock-up scene created by Adobe Firefly. Like, doesn't that look pretty good? It looks so good. Let's go back to Firefly. All right, now this time, a macro shot of oil bubbles in water, light pink, floral pink. background. Nice. Edit, mm -hmm. and then we can down here do more in Adobe Express. So literally one click oh, wow. in and then it goes to Adobe Express, text and more. And then voila, nice. it's right over here. So I'm gonna set this as page background so it doesn't move everywhere. And then I am gonna drop in my product images. Yeah, that's gonna look so good. Now let's do remove background. Amazing. Nice. <laughs> Isn't it Very so nice. quick? What if we like yeah. took it to the next level Ooh. and animated it? Yeah. That's nice, you yeah. know? I really like this one. Click, okay, resize, mm -hmm. and then let's do an Instagram story. Ooh. Oh, see, that looks nice. That would catch my eye. If I saw that on Instagram and that was a story, I would I would stop. Well, I can honestly <laughs> say you created some incredible eye-catching campaigns. Yay. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.